Hello everybody. Today I'm visiting a Kia dealership that's <laughs> seen better days. So there you go. That's the end of the movie. <laughs> no. All right. So I'm visiting a dealership that I think it's being built. <laughs> and I'm not exactly sure what kind of structure this is, but there's a bunch of cars there. Uh, nothing really that I kind of find of interest. And then they have, well, first of all, oh my God, it just started snowing. Literally, as they turned around, it started snowing. All right, well, that's not good. That's going to put a put a stop to a lot of my videos. But anyway, so we got a dealership that's being built. We got snow on the ground that's just started to fall. We have this Kia Stinger, which I do find interesting, but it's locked and not a whole lot I can do with it. Although I, I Stinger GT, okay. So... It's a, you know, okay. But anyway, uh, nothing really of interest here, but um, I found this Buick Regal T, so like the fully loaded turbocharged. So I want to film this, but I also, before I do, I want to show you something. This is when you know you have a bad day. <laughs> when uh, your car, I think it just fell off of its jack. I, I'm not, this is how I found it. I definitely didn't kick it. It's also missing a door handle, so can't really open it. Well, you can kind of open it here, but you can kind of see that it's somebody's stuff is in there. So not quite sure what's going on there. But yeah, you know, it's the little weird stuff. And then somebody stuck an M badge. So this is a Kia Soul by BMW. All right. Anyway, let me let me show you this Buick Regal T instead. You guys know I love Buicks. Too bad they're not making cars. Too bad there's probably snow on my lens already. Um, it looks like somebody took all the center caps off of it. I do like the rims in general. Um, here it is. It's a Regal T. I think the trunk is probably popped right here. Yep. So, yeah. It's, it's a decent trunk, I guess. All right, let me jump inside. Wow. Okay, I did not expect for the snow. All right, this is in the wrong spot, but we already know that. I like how these look. I think this is like a later model. It's probably, I don't know, 15, 16, something like that. All right, jump inside. 54,000 miles. See, there's a sheet right here. Mm, yep, yeah, it's 2016. Oh, this came on. Oh, look at that. I see, I love dealers. Oh my God, this is exactly the same key that I had on my 2010 lacrosse. Yep, I love this key. Yep, the good old fashioned, although there's really nowhere you can put this in, in inside the car, but it's okay. Yep, uh, I got all the little cubbies here. Wow, so this one being like the fully loaded one, I love the wood, look at this. It's got like the sweeping wood all the way around while it stops in the middle, but then it kind of continues. This is nice. It is a little Chevy Malibu-esque type of deal, but nonetheless, I mean, a panel gap is okay here. Oh, lost some of its shine, got rubbed off, but yeah, overall, it's nice. It's got fog lights, it's got the little cubby there with uh, some possible drug paraphernalia, so we're not gonna do that. Uh, what else it's got? It's got heated steering wheel. Well, it's got the key, so I mean, I don't wanna, Wait, can I start it? Oh, the battery's dead. No remote key was detected? Well, then what the hell is this? Is there a place to put it? Like, you know, I know sometimes if the battery is dead in the remote, you can't start it. But, okay, well, you know what? That's too bad. Mm, can I click something for more info? Come on, Buick. I love gauges. Oh, they look, although they are kind of European inspired. Transmitter pocket location. Where? Here? All right. You know what, people? I don't care. All right. Anyway, who cares? Oh, wow. Okay. That is the location. All right, well, I hope that the dealership doesn't think that I'm stealing it. All right, well, it's decent. There you go, it's running. 
Hmm. All right. Oh, he's got heated seat. All right. So, he's got this. He's got rubberized kind of things here. Come on, people. Blank switches again. Really? Oh, well, it's all right. Transmitter pocket location. Okay. Oh, it's shaking really bad. Like I'm holding onto the steering wheel. I know you guys can't see it, but it's like it's shaking. All right. Well, no media found. Well, look, overall, I mean, what am I trying to, besides uh, the whole idea of finding a car with the keys on I mean, it's, oh, it's all boxed in. I mean, it's boxed in on the front. It's boxed in on the back. The heated seats is already starting to come on. I don't think I'm a big fan of this little pod here. I think this was the space to have cooled seats in some of the other cars. All right. Yeah, let me shut it off. I feel, I feel bad. And by the way, you do have to press on this button quite hard to get it to, get it to do anything. Yeah, so look, overall, I kind of like the design. Um, obviously, in general, it's uh, not not the best car and they are not even making cars at this point sedan Ugh. i know when i keep saying cars i you, you know what i mean i mean sedans because trucks and stuff all right well, let's see now this k900 i know this is like the kia's fully loaded fully luxurious type of deal with some weird fender trim porthole it's locked i know i i looked at it earlier let's see if i can find an unlocked one because that would be nice to kind of see um what's like the best kia sedan what is it what does it have to offer i i see one right here oh it's really cold i think i need to just jump inside Let's see, what is this? Is this the K9000 something? K900 Luxury. Oh my God. What the hell? Well, it's locked. What? That, that shouldn't happen. You see that? Let me, let me look around. Let me look around. Okay. Um, I'm no mechanic, but that doesn't look good. I mean, I know they're probably trying to do something there, like... You know, before they sell it, but holy moly. The whole dash is off. That middle thing is off. Everything is off. Got some parts in the back. Unfortunately, it's locked. <laughs> okay. I thought we were past this design, but apparently Key is bringing it back. This is all-wheel drive. The back of it looks like a Mercedes, like, a, like an E-Class or something. And I don't know if they know, but the, the K9, the whole K9 meaning a dog, like, I don't know if uh, Koreans know about that. Um, wow, 65 grand? There's a VIP package. But other than that, wow, I didn't expect to find that. Okay, we'll see what else I could find. All right, so looking around this place, I understand why they're building this giant monstrosity that's two stories high, is because they're they're running out of space. So they have cars, cars, SUVs, everywhere here, and you know, so that that's okay. I'm not here to judge their space management, but what I do want to judge is their snowplow. So first of all, I I think they need to uh, upgrade their snowplow itself. And I think they need to upgrade their vehicle <laughs> that pushing it. If they think that this little Jeep that they so nicely labeled here, if they think that that can plow this entire lot, yeah, I think they're they're dreaming. Maybe whatever their old lot was that could do it, but definitely not this. Whoops, sorry, it's not focusing. Not this new lot. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's just take a quick look at this. This is a 97 Jeep Wrangler. Um, that I feel really sorry for whoever is actually going to be using it to plow because they just put staples. Uh, they, and obviously there's exposed stuff all over the place. So I hope that the heat works inside this thing. Yeah, because obviously all the stitching fell apart. And you ideally, you don't want to use kind of like this soft top vehicle because obviously you know that with age i'm sorry i don't know why it's having such a hard time focusing today um yeah 
Let's look on the inside. I don't know for some reason I'm really excited over this thing. <laughs> the fact that it's still on the road. Obviously, they don't bother locking this thing. So in the summertime, obviously, you can take all these panels off. And it's a 97, it says that. Yeah. First of all, I'm surprised it has a leather steering wheel. That's leather is already gone. Yeah, wow, this, this brings me back. I remember when, when Wranglers were like this with the tape deck. And with a lot of blank switches. Yeah, let's see, is there anything in here? No. There's nothing in here. Oh, this is locked. Okay, so something of value is there. Um, okay, this cup holder is a little nasty. And they have some sort of a controller for that plow thing and some switches and all that stuff. It doesn't have a sticker for an oil change, so I don't know how many miles it has. And it's digital, surprisingly. So, all right. Another thing that I wanted to show you is this. So I'm excited to find these things. You see, I'm always I'm always on the lookout for like all the way in the back, the back lot. And I'm surprised. I'm filming this on a Sunday and there's actually somebody there. So I don't know what they're doing there. I don't know. Is that a guy like me or guys like me who wants to film stuff on the weekend when nobody's around? But yeah, here's a Cadillac SDS. And I always found it strange that they kind of stuck the little Cadillac thing like really obscure. Usually there's like 80 different Cadillac badges and uh not not on this one so what do we have i don't know if it's locked or unlocked but we're gonna find out Ooh. oh yeah oh yeah so yeah so that happened it has its sts little symbols here i think it's unlocked all right we're gonna explore see i i love this this is what i'm here for so i think this was their attempt to kind of give american car shoppers something you know european and i'm really going to be careful not to fall in there that's like a pit of the abyss with a ton of garbage and i think this is actually a dealership next door so i don't i don't know what this is actually so anyway yeah look at this so they wanted to give an american cadillac shop or something you know european-esque and i don't know if they succeeded here there we go. Oh, yes. The dreaded North Star. Look at that. I don't know. I don't know if this is a good North Star or bad North Star. I don't know what year this is. I'm going to look. But I know these things had some, some major issues. I also like how they color-coded everything. That's nice. Although, how many actual buyers worked on their cars? I doubt that that was the case. So, prior to headlight service, the owner's manual. Nice. See, I usually don't look under the hood, but this one was like wide open and it's okay, you know, why not? So it's a V8, 32 valve. And obviously we got rust galore here. <laughs> I love how they tried fixing headlights. I don't know, is it? So they're trying to hold them in. Okay. Ooh, that got chewed out. So yeah, obviously this is a tra this is a probably a trade in somebody who had a Cadillac and decided to take a plunge with a Kia. But oh my God, <laughs> that's something you don't see every day. Oh, I think I broke it. Yeah, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that when I when I first found that I did that. So anyway, it looks to be unlocked. Wow. Now that's a blast from the past. Look at this. You got memory seats. Nice. We have this padded leather material. Nice. That doesn't have any power. Wow, these seats. I mean, they look inviting. Even after, let's see, how, how old is this thing? Is There it is. It's a 99. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with focus today. I, I don't know. Is it something that I'm doing wrong here? Wow. Okay. So the the steering wheel is right on my lap. I can't actually get into the, like get into this car fully, so I'm kind of doing one of these. So yeah, no power. So nice padded soft material. I'm using a zoomed out view, so sorry for the fish fishbowl effect. 
Got all these. Uh, this one doesn't have a fully digital dash, so there are needles there. It's got a ton of uh, air fresheners, but um, it doesn't smell bad in here. I mean, it is dirty, of course, but I love when this piece is wood. Heated seats. You got Fanta. Oh, empty. All right. Is that a bag of weed? I don't know, maybe it used to be a bag of weed. All right, yeah, the seat is super comfy. Like super, super duper comfy, even though this is this is old and tired and, and all that, but it's still super comfortable. Yep, yep, yep. I love these seats and it had power adjusted and tilting. Oh, so who knew, who knew that you can find a nice, oh, oh, it's locked. You can find a nice Cadillac at a Kia dealership. And when I say nice, I mean, you guys understand, I use that term loosely. All right, the door lock is all the way back here. Oh, yeah, like, look, like the back seat. Oh, here you go. Cadillac Seville, 99. Like the back seat is kind of separating a little bit. <laughs> okay, the foam, like, got imprinted on the back. Oh wow, the back seats are heated, that's rare. Hmm. All right, well, it's definitely no cream puff, but it's also a look at a car that doesn't exist anymore as far as cool cars go. I would love to have that car, you know, back in the day, but it's okay. It is what it is. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to find anything else interesting here. So we'll see you next time. By the way, this is my shopping video at a Kia. I, I didn't think I would ever do that. I, but anyway, I'm weird. Take care.